All right, guys, welcome back to another episode. Um, today is pretty interesting. It's a bit later in the day, it's about 5 p.m. So I'm gonna be taking a break from all projects here at the island, and I'm gonna be going out camping. So I'm gonna head over to our family cabin pretty soon, pick up the canoe. I'm uh, basically all packed for a little camping trip, taking Lando with me as well. And then I'm just gonna go head out and uh, you know, see what I can find. Hopefully I can find another another remote island or something to camp on or maybe even on mainland. Although an island would be preferable because of uh, more wind, less bugs. So yeah, I'm gonna head over, get all my gear in the canoe and then uh, head out. Time to get your life jacket on. There you go, little guy. So we're on our way. It's kind of difficult to film inside the canoe, so I apologize. But I'm um, just going to throw this little guy in. It's just a little jig. Not exactly sure the name. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to let it troll behind me. Might as well, since I'm already canoeing through some of these areas. We'll see if there's anything to catch out here. Um, not planning on eating anything. Usually I would, but uh, I brought food this time, so if I catch something, it'll just be a catch and release, most likely. Lando's being a little bit difficult. Uh, it's not really his fault because he's getting attacked by black flies right now, but with his uh, occasional head shakes, kind of makes it tippy on, on the canoe here which with camera gear is obviously a bit of a problem. But uh, I'm gonna be coming into a cove soon. So hopefully the water will kind of uh, chill out once we get in there. Oh, fish on. One second. Uh, Seriously? Well, caught a fish at least. Well, it's a start. Little rock bass. Surprised it even went for a lure that size, but uh, I'm gonna let this guy go. So, a little rock bass uh, disturbed my update there, but what I was saying is, I've been paddling for quite a ways. Uh, I'm in a spot of the lake I don't think I've been before. I think I kind of see an area that might work for a camp spot. When I'm camping with the Seco tent, I have to be very particular and uh, on what the area looks like because of the size of the tent. And it needs to be roughly flat. So there's a little island that looks like it might provide the perfect spot. If not, I'll just keep going. Careful, Lynn, don't tip us over. Got too much camera gear in here. Lando loves fishing, so anytime he knows there's a line in the water, he kind of goes nuts uh, with anticipation of a fish coming. It's one of his favorite things to do is watch people fish. Well, looks like another little guy. This time a little bass. <laughs> so, I'm having pretty good luck fishing, meaning 
of caught two fish, but the fish themselves haven't been too impressive. I'm gonna let this guy go again. This is probably the worst time to go camping possible, but uh, it's the only chance I have, so I'm taking it. Uh, it's supposed to rain this afternoon. Well, I mean, it is the afternoon, but in a couple hours or so, though it's a pretty low chance, but it's uh, basically guaranteed to rain in the morning, which I don't mind. I just wanted to get out here, but with all that being said, finding a camping spot sooner than later would be ideal. All right, so I'm on this little island with Lando. Um, just kind of pulled over for a break and to check if this would be a good camping spot, but it doesn't really look like it, and most of the other spots I've stopped so far don't look like it either. But uh, since the main reason I'm out here is just to enjoy a bit of, a bit of the lake and uh, take a little break from all my projects, I don't really mind that much. I'm just gonna sit here, uh, looks like it's got a good blueberry patch, and I'm gonna do some casting with Lando, see if we can catch another fish. And then uh, I'm gonna check the inReach, or the Zolio, I mean, uh, right here, which is a little device that allows me to connect to the satellites and talk with certain contacts, like my parents, to tell them how I'm doing, stuff like that. And uh, also gives me the option to hit the SOS button in case stuff really goes wrong. But one of the neat features this thing also has is I'm able to check the weather. And in doing so, uh, for this area, it looks like it's gonna be pretty hefty rain. And then it's supposed to keep up until tomorrow. So, I don't know, I'm gonna watch that and uh, see if it changes. Uh, Cause I really wanna stay out here, but if it's just gonna be raining with all the black flies and stuff, then an unlevel camp spot then. I'll just uh, head back and uh, at least I got a good little fishing trip out of it. And then I'll continue working on uh, fixing those chairs. And if it's raining, it doesn't matter because I have to do some shellac and staining as well. So uh, that's actually a good thing that I'm taking those inside. So yeah, we'll watch, we'll watch the weather and then uh, see what the best course of action is. Wow. All right, first cast. Oh, little guy again. But uh, there is a bigger one that was trying to go after it, but this guy beat him to it again. All little guys so far, but at least I'm catching them. Then, come, num nums. Although the main goal is to go camping, it doesn't seem like the weather is really going to allow for it. So I'll head back and uh, maybe get the sauna going and kind of chill in there. And then tomorrow I will get to working on those chairs and uh, that little coffee table idea that we've all been talking about for a while. And uh, yeah, this was definitely fun. I'm glad I came out even if I didn't end up camping because I think I just needed a little uh, a time on the lake and I'm, I'm sure Lando really enjoyed it. Do you slip in the water, buddy? Yeah, Lando really enjoyed himself. Uh, I know he loves going out and exploring the lake just as much as I do. So, yeah, it was definitely worth it. And uh, 
it was just nice to spend some more time in nature, but I'm gonna head back now and get the sauna cooking. All right, Lando, we are homeward bound. Do you have fun? You sure looks like it. You're sweating like a dog. Kind of glad this all worked out the way it did because uh, that just gives me another excuse to go in the sauna. Hey, Lando. Yeah, I know you wanted to stay out here. So did I, but it is what it is. Can't change the weather. All right, let's head back, buddy. All right, so this is the sauna room I was talking about. This was actually the first building built on this island back in the 50s. The original owners had some Finnish, I believe, or uh, Swedish, something like that. Carpenters and uh, builders come up to build these cabins in the Scandinavian scribe log style. And uh, naturally, the first cabin they built was the sauna cabin. So this place has uh, always been one of my favorites to come in, and I love saunas, so getting this place fired up is always uh, really nice. The sauna is actually a really nice size, especially for being in a remote like location like this. Um, it's obviously powered by or heated by uh, wood. So there's a pile of wood in here right now and a axe. So then you can split up some of the wood into smaller pieces, burn it in the stove, which heats up the rocks. And then um, it just heats up the room and you can pour water on the rocks. The steam heats it up even more and keeps it from getting too dry. A wood burning sauna is a, a bit of a process to get going. So always keeping wood in there and having something to light it like birch bark or some sort of fire starter is definitely a must. And uh, with this warmer weather, it's about 30 Celsius um, recently. It only takes about 30, 40 minutes to get uh, quite hot in there, where sometimes in the winter, it can take up to an hour, an hour and a half. While that's getting ready to go, I'm gonna go uh, take a look at those two wooden chairs. I'm not gonna work on them today, but I kinda wanna take a look and uh, just see what it is I, I want to do with them. So with these chairs, I want to preserve them from and keep them from getting too weathered or rotten since they are outside and they're made of wood. But at the same time, I don't want to take away from kind of the rough hewn log look because uh, they are pretty cool the way they are. I mean, of course I could get a chainsaw and like cut legs to make them lighter. There's a whole bunch of stuff I could do to them, but um, I do really like the look. The feel is a bit, uh, you know, squished when you're like this. I think I could trim back the arms just so then it's more of just a backrest and your arms can kind of do whatever you want. So I think I might just get the sander sand them down, get the, this weathered wood off, and uh, kind of get some of the grooves from whatever tool was used to cut these out. And then uh, maybe stain them, um, depending on what color of stain we have, because I kind of like them being light. And then uh, shellac them and get it a, a good thick layer of clear shellac or something to preserve them. And then for this table, uh, you guys commented a lot, which was awesome with all your opinions. Kind of seems to me like the winner is uh, to keep the barrel as is without the tire. But uh, some people did recommend putting uh, like a wooden platform in here and charring it and then shellacking it, which is a good idea. But uh, one thing I forgot is uh, there is this kind of cool writing on top here. It says Imperial Oil Limited. And it's got some numbers on it, which is pretty neat. So I'm going to keep thinking about this. See if putting a wood platform is something I want to do. Or maybe if there's a way I can like scrape the paint off and kind of clear away the rust. And then paint it with the original colors or something. But uh, yeah, we'll see. But for now, I'm going to go check the sauna. Restoke the fire and uh, get that thing heating up. It is sauna time. Um, there's a couple different ways I uh, just wanted to mention that you can do saunas. Um, usually when I'm in a group of people in a sauna, I like it to be 
hot, but uh, where you can sit in for a longer period of time. So then you can have like conversations and stuff. But uh, right now, how I have it, the whole stove pipe is red hot, um, which is usually the way I like it when I'm by myself. I like to be able to walk in the room and your eyebrows melt off. But uh, that's just me. You, just because when I'm by myself, uh, I, I don't really want to sit in a room sweating for hours. So I like to get in, just suffer for, you know, 10 minutes and then uh, hop in the lake and do a couple rounds of that. But yeah, uh, obviously I can't film inside the room, uh, nor I'm sure you guys wouldn't want to see my big sweaty body in there. But um, I'm going to enjoy my sauna and then take a swim and see you guys in the morning. Well, it was about this time that it was supposed to rain according to the forecast, but it's still blue skies, so... I guess I could have camped tonight and then just left in the rain in the morning, but I think the sauna was worth coming back anyways. And just being able to enjoy this. The birds are going nuts right now, it's quite beautiful. And a fish just jumped. But uh, the thing about this area, since we're kind of in a, a, a pretty remote location, it doesn't have its own like specific uh, weather forecast, at least not one that I know of. I just go off of what information I have, but no matter how it works, it works out well because I'm at the lake. Good morning. Good morning, Lenny. Come here. Good morning, buddy. Come here. Show me your bone. Wow. Oh. Well, I've been doing some thinking and, uh, I think I got so 
comfortable up here and excited about living here and stuff that I, um, I forgot about which projects are really important. Started worrying more about like external and um, aesthetic type projects like these chairs and uh, forgot that there's still a whole workshop and living area that need a lot of work, a lot of uh, tending to. So I think that my best option would be to this morning get all of those uh, like fridges and stoves out of the workshop because that's taking up at least 20% of the space and it's obviously completely useless space. It's just being used as a storage bin for garbage basically so yeah I think uh, after my tea that's what I might start doing is just tidying up in there and then seeing if I can maybe get uh, one of my parents or somebody to come help me hoist those out of here and uh, they don't necessarily like I, I probably won't be able to take them to the trash today but I could get them on the barge or just outside where, you know, I can tarp them up until I can take them to the, take them to town. Um, but as long as they're out of there, I can start working in there and cleaning uh, even more. Because as of now, with all that in there, it's just hard to move things around. And there's lots of, like, tables and other things that I would want to shift to different parts of the room and stuff that I can't do that. Uh, so, yeah, getting that out is a priority. My uncle is going to be here in about four hours to uh, open up one of the other cabins because a couple of my uh, cousins are going to be coming up for the weekend um, with a few visitors from Norway, I believe. So uh, when my uncle comes up, I'm going to give him a hand getting their water systems working and stuff so then when the other uh, guests get here, they don't have to go through that hassle. So yeah, it's gonna be a fun day getting the shop cleared out and then having visitors. But uh, before all that, I'm gonna sit here and enjoy my tea for a little bit longer. So in these uh, hotter days we've been having, uh, heat regulation's been kind of a struggle in here, which is to be expected in a cabin, but uh, to have windows open without completely getting swamped by mosquitoes, there's these antique uh, bug nets that kind of just slide out and make a frame, but um, just to help with a little bit of uh, airflow, got this little fan that uh, should just sit right here pretty nicely and just help bring in some of the outside air. But I'm not sure if it'll fit. Or if it's supposed to like go in the window or if it can sit on the inside. I know it's not big enough to cover the whole window. Well, this will definitely be a nice thing to have, especially uh, during the summers, but just to get some fresh air circulating through here, and it really works, which is nice, and it's quite silent, especially if it's on the uh, lower setting mode. Awesome.
take it down. But you will probably wheel it once you're down. Get the plug. Ready? Yep. Heaviest piece in here. Yeah. <laughs> Ready? This table could actually sit against the wall right there. Yeah, that would be better. Because then it's more open, open space. This thing should be in the corner. Nice. I wish this went down a bit. Mm, it might not. Just to fit under. Oh yeah, that's a bit too much, but at least you can sit under. Look at all this room to walk. You can work it and move. that was a big day we got a lot done uh, the shop is completely different now it's an actual functioning workplace which is awesome for many years as long as I can remember you couldn't even walk in here like the first photos show so uh, yeah this is <laughs> completely different it doesn't even feel like the same place so uh, we got all those fridges and stoves out and uh, a lot of like the, the junk that's just been piling up in here for many years and uh, I'll take them to the dump uh, when we get a load of firewood this autumn. But for now, it's just little details getting this place exactly how I'd like it. Um, it's obviously not perfect yet, but now that all that stuff's out of the way, it's going to be a lot easier to see what needs to be done and to organize with all the extra room. And then uh, outside, I'll show you, we got the boat moved, that boat that's been taking up all the space. And uh, for now, I'm just going to set it over by the boathouse where the other boat is and uh, leave it there. A lot of you guys gave some pretty good ideas to fix the boat and get it running again, but then also to repurpose it if I decide not to do that uh, with like hanging gardens and a whole bunch of awesome ideas. So that might be a cool project later on. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I know this video is a little bit scattered, but 
we got a lot done, which is awesome. Now that the majority of the uh, dirty work, I guess, is out of the way, I'll be able to really make this place into a beautiful workshop on a lake, which is uh, what I've been dreaming of for a very long time. Again, thanks for all your support. Uh, the amount of comments and suggestions I've been getting on all these videos has been amazing, so please keep it up, because a lot of your ideas are uh, going into the design uh, and organization of this place. I also want to say a big thank you to those who subscribe to my Patreon channel. Uh, your support means a lot and I'm really glad to have you on board. Uh, and for those of you who do not know what Patreon is, it's basically a subscription-based account where you uh, donate small monthly payments and then for that you get uh, all my videos ad-free and also your name at the end of the video which is pretty neat. So if you feel like supporting the channel you can hop on there and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next week.